I'm Simon. I'm a student of physical therapy. Jensen, do I have your permission to uh, assess uh, your muscle strength today and, and put my hands on you and yes. take a video? Yes. Thank you. All right. So um, for manual muscle testing of the rhomboids, we're looking for scapular adduction as well as downward rotation. I'm going to have my patient in prone, as we see here. I can either have you turn your head towards me or keep it down, whatever is more comfortable. Perfect. During this, I'm going to stabilize on the ipsilateral side while I apply pressure to the contralateral side. Uh, to start, Jensen, are you able to put your uh, right hand on your lower back for me? Good, okay. So the patient does have sufficient range of motion to perform this test, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I would do. Uh, can you lift your hand up and off your lower back for me? Good. He's able to do this against gravity. I can palpate his rhomboids here on the medial border of the scapula. And if I wanted to actually grade this muscle test, go ahead and lift again for me. Stabilize on the ipsilateral side. And if I applied pressure and he did not break, that'd be grade five. If he broke just a little bit and the hand came down to his lower back, it's a grade four. And if he broke the second I touched it, that'd be a grade three. Um, if Jensen didn't have the range of motion uh, and internal rotation, to get his hand on his lower back, we could also do an alternate test here, which is just gonna be, um, can you bring your elbow up off the table for me? Good, and you're just gonna hold just like this. I'm gonna stabilize on the ipsilateral side, and instead of applying pressure to the scapula, I'm gonna apply pressure down to the olecranon here. And what I'm really looking for is any scapular movement. I'm, I'm not worried so much about the arm moving. And if, if the scapula stays put, that's a grade five. If the scapula breaks a little bit, grade four. And if the second I apply any pressure, it gives out, that'd be grade three. Um, if Jensen wasn't able to perform either of these against gravity, I would put him in a gravity minimized position, which is gonna be sitting on the edge of the table for me. Good. Um, and to assess the right arm here, um, can you put your hand behind your lower back for me again? Good, so he has sufficient range of motion. And without gravity, now are you able to pull your hand away from your lower back towards me? Good, this would be a grade two. He's able to perform it without gravity. Now, if I asked the patient to pull his hand away from his lower back, and I could see he was trying, and I could palpate the muscles firing, but he wasn't able to pull it away, that'd be a grade one. And if I instructed Jensen to pull his hand away from his lower back, and I didn't feel any palpable contraction, and he wasn't able to move, that would be a grade zero.